We've been sat here hours. Dedication. I'm from Liverpool. Oh, you forgot I'm to say where you're from. I'm from Oldham. Near Oldham. I'm from Liverpool. Lancashire. So, not too yeah. far away. I love Andy. Hi, my name's Leah. I'm a team Black Lovers. Here's my ticket. <laughs> Um, it does really awesome. I've, I've had my ticket for like, I don't know when they first came on sale and it's like really packed. <laughs> um, just an excited really. I'm Venus, I'm from Stoke and I'm here to see Blackville Brides. My name's Nisha, I'm here to see Blackville Brides. How long have we had our tickets? I am about two months. We've had our tickets about two months. We've been planning to go since the last time I saw them live. And the, basically they're just my favourite band and they've just helped me through so much. My name's Rishi and I'm from Bex, I'm here to see Phil's Vampire Killers. I'm Hannah and I'm from Darwin. And yeah. <laughs> uh, we're coming to see Black Veil Brides mainly. And tonight alive. And I'm here to see Blackpool Brides, Phyllis Vampire Girls tonight alive in Cheetah. <laughs> Hi, I'm Georgia, I'm from Church I'm here to see Phyllis Vampire Killers. Hi, I'm Aaron, I'm from Liverpool, and I'm here to see Blackpool Brides tonight alive in Phyllis Vampire Killers because they're just amazing. I'm Sadie, and I'm from Preston, and I'm here to see Phyllis Vampire Killers. Hi, my name's Danielle, I'm here to see Blackpool Brides. <laughs> My name is Robbie's Luke. I'm here to see Black Hi, my name is Shani and I'm from Stoke. I'm here for Black Veil Brides. I'm Craig Owens. Hi, I'm Amy from Preston. I'm here to see Black Veil Brides. I'm Beth from Liverpool and I'm here to see Black Veil Brides. Hello! I'm from Leyland and I'm here with my daughter to see Black Veil Brides. So here we are backstage at Liverpool Academy. Uh, it's the sixth day of the Kerrang Tour 2013. How's it been for you? Cold. Yeah. It's still cold and it's been cold and I think it will be cold for the rest of the journey. Yeah. Have you, have you packed enough uh, layers? I have packed enough layers. Yeah. I and mean, I'm still professionally cold. It's mainly my feet. Right. I, I just can't seem to get warm feet. There we go. Well, uh, have you ever tried slippers? I have. Yes. They don't work either. No. Because oh, well. it's just so goddamn cold here. Yeah. Well, it's the winter. Backstage at uh, Liverpool. Uh, you're about to go on stage in about 20 minutes, how are you feeling? Um, <laughs> Ill. Yeah. Feeling fine, we're good. It's all been a, bit of a little bit of a rush, but we're good, we're ready. How was Norwich yesterday? Norwich was fabulous. Norwich was epic. It yes. well, broke. That broke. That wasn't very good. Yeah. But other uh, than that, it's yeah, marvellous. All our family were there, which was cool. And um, yeah. it was nice to play in our kind of hometown again. Does that add a whole a level of nerves? Uh, I don't of, know, it kind of didn't add mercy, it added like gravitas yeah, to the show. But I don't think, I think it's almost easier because we knew that we were playing to people that like kind of, you know, knew us, like we kind of felt a bit like heroes or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> what did Wet, uh, Wet Panda have to say about the uh, show yesterday? Because he was very harsh on you. Yeah, well, he, he wasn't very impressed. Right? He wasn't impressed and he actually said he had a go at Keir, so I threw him across the stage. He did have a go at me. And so Wet Panda's quiet up a bit today. Mm. He's, uh, um, yeah, he's a little yeah, That's why he's not in this interview, because I've forbidden him. He's on the naughty step. Naughty step. He's on the naughty step. You just finished your set? Yes. Uh, how was the uh, Liverpool show for you? It was good. It was interesting. It definitely um, more humid and hot, I think, than any of the other it's ones. very skiddy on the ramps, apparently, leading up to the stage. I almost fell on my ass like 10 times tonight, and it was one of those shows where you thrash too much, and um, you have like a moment of blackout, and then you come back to, and you're like, whoa, threw up in my mouth a couple of times. Yeah, definitely almost passed out and threw up. Yeah. Right? Is that part of the course? Not usually, but tonight it was, yeah. Yeah, it was in the beginning. You know what I mean? You play those tight. Those are some of my favorite shows, the super sweaty ones, because you don't worry as much. You really can let loose. You know what I mean? Sometimes it hurts your performance because you can't breathe. Yeah. But you know, the whole breathing thing. The question is tonight, would you have fallen over more if you were wearing those uh, five-year-old leather boots? You yeah, wore? probably. I lost my boots. Um, How do you lose your boots? Just attraction, I have attraction. I lost my boots because I didn't look over the hotel enough and I just left. I actually blamed Brad. We, we shared a room and, and he left first. He left his wallet and left it yeah. on this tour already. Finish your set at the Liverpool yeah. Academy. How, how did that go for you? It was awesome. I was slightly discouraged because the stage was um, a bit of an obstacle course between the kid and and uh, all the gear. So um, I was slightly off put, but we got out there and the crowd was like ready to go. And I noticed that the ceiling was dripping when we started. So I was like, this is kind of a good sign. I think this crowd um, 
they're already warmed up. You've been DJing every night, yep. uh, kicking off things at 6 30 with a half hour set. Um, do, you, do you vary the set from night to night? Yeah, yeah. it depends on what city I'm in or if I'm getting requests. Yeah. I think the other night I played, last night I played uh, a lot of streets. Oh, streets. Okay. Which is a weird thing to play before the Grand Tour. Tonight I'm going to do an all daughter set. Right. You know, like yeah. a thrash, thrash metal core art band. Cool. Excellent. So, um, what kind of requests have you been getting? Have people asked for bands that they're going to see in like an hour? Or is it? Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. And I tell them that's silly because you'll be able to see that song in real life. Yeah. What, what are the guaranteed things you, you put on the playlist that you know it's going to get the atmosphere going? Um, well, I definitely put Frank Sinatra on mm -hmm. every night. Is that just before Fields Vampire Killers go on stage? Yeah, even though I know it's not going to get the crowd going, but it's mainly to, to trick them. Right. Yeah. It's a calm before the storm. What can we expect from tonight's gig uh, in Liverpool? Uh, it's our first time performing to new people in Liverpool, so we're not totally sure. We don't play Liverpool properly, we've done a party here before, so. Hopefully it's going to be pretty crazy. The stage is quite tight, so we're probably going to be smashing into each other. I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, we'll you can just... imagine some kind of carnage. Yeah, yeah. it's carnage part of the course and uh, fearless vampire colours. Yeah, carnage normally well, yeah. is always <laughs> part of it. Somehow, uh, in some form. Yeah. Often accidental. Yeah. You know, it's mostly just kind of us. It's not kind of around. cool, kind of Jason Statham carnage. It's no. kind of like <laughs> blundering carnage. <laughs> uh, yeah. They've definitely been like in the top three. <laughs> Like, I haven't actually thought about top three, but they're all, every night's been really good, but tonight, I don't know, I'm buzzing. At least you found them, or they found your shoes. Yeah, they found them, but I'm not going to get them back until after this tour. At least I get them back, mm -hmm. um, since I, I have worn them pretty much every night on stage for, you know, five years. So it, it messed up my mojo a little bit tonight. Like, I actually thought about it three or four times. Yeah. Usually you shouldn't be thinking about your shoes when you're on stage, right. but I did think about them. Yeah. Um, that was just because of the traction. Yeah, so you've been wearing your uh, Anita uh, Sugar Tiger trainers, like yeah. Kill Bill. Yep, exactly. Does exactly. Bring it and everybody's like, are those wrestling shoes? I'm like, no, no yeah. you just don't know. Danny Wilson, uh, that's me. You join us in Liverpool. Uh, yep. What brings you to this city? I'm, uh, I'm Black Veil Brides stage dancer for the night. Excellent. So how long have you been uh, practicing your uh, moves? I've, since the day I was born. I've been waiting for this opportunity and I've been emailing the guys and sending them like new pictures and stuff and being like, please, can I meet you guys? I've got the full dance routines to all your songs, like, can I please do it? And they were like, fucking fine, let's get this kid in. How was Norwich yesterday? It was also a really good show. I don't know what, <laughs> actually, I think it was because Tom Thomas from Shadows dared me to do a somersault on stage as I walked on and I did it and it sort of set the vibe for like, Fuck it, I'm gonna do whatever I want and it's gonna feel good either way and it worked. Okay. So <laughs> I well, think I'll have to do some assault every day now. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> do you think you'll do one tomorrow in Glasgow? If there's enough room. How many times try. have you vomited on tour so far? Not once. Not yet, but I think tonight's the night. Yeah. I was feeling. I just came here from I was at a day off from Birmingham and I was like, oh black little new wine, cinnamon ages. I'm gonna go down. So I sent out tweets like, who wants to drive me, who wants to drive me? No, yeah. Yesterday you played Norwich. Yes. Uh, how was the Norwich show for you? Norwich show was absolutely awesome. I loved it. It was um, it was different. I, when we pulled up to the venue, it felt like we were in like Alaska or something. It was it was uh, a lot different um, than these, you know, um, big cities. It, it, there was a lot of back roads, things like that. Um, and then the crowd. It, it was just uh, most of these shows were at academies, mm -hmm. so it was a different type of stage. It was a longer stage. Um, with a much wider um, and it was crowd, as well. yeah, exactly, and closer to the crowd, and we like that That's because cool. we like to, you know, have it be a little more intimate show. Um, but I thought the show was awesome. I had fun. So you're nervous about your uh, sort of dancing? I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not good in front of crowds. I'm, I'm very a lot of stage fright, and I'm a very shy person. So we'll see how it goes. I might piss myself. How's how's the new album shaping up? Amazing. <laughs> um, Slowly but surely, you know, we, when we got back together, we were just doing it to play shows. We didn't know we were going to be a band. We didn't know if we were going to do a record. We didn't know if we could get along enough right. to do a record. You know, we had to rebuild our relationships after kind of, you know, a big falling out that we had. Um, when, when did that turn then? When, it, when did it become a, we're going to do something now? 
think right after the first weekend of shows. Probably. <laughs> We're like, this is so much fun. <laughs> yeah, I really felt the energy again and, and the appreciation that everybody had for what we once had. So, um, we, I mean, it's, it was more than that, though. We felt a connection that was there for a while and a, a new, a, like a rejuvenated passion for it again. So. Yeah, we wouldn't be doing it if it wasn't um, for the right reasons. Mm -hmm. You know, there's like misconceptions about bands these days that do it for money and things like that. But, you know, it's like we don't have money. You know what I mean? Like, we're, we're not making money. We're out here working as just as hard as the next band or, or some random opening band that you see, you know. Um, and we're doing it because we love it and we're going to keep fighting for it. But the new record is um, something that we're all really proud of. We're going to go um, literally right after this tour. Um, maybe take a, a week off, something like that, um, and go lock ourselves up um, in a house, and all of us are just gonna write and demo as much as we can. And it's uh, also really good to have Thomas on board. Yeah, you know, he uh, adds a lot to the writing and gives us this new passion towards the new sense of self. How long have you known the Blackfield Brides guys before the the dancing uh, invitation? Hmm. It's been a long time. I met him in Detroit because I went to a show to fight him. But we ended up just drinking because we realized instantly we don't hate each other, we love each other, and we want to cuddle and stuff. So do you hope to get this uh, the album done in some form before the Warp shows? That's the main goal. Yeah, we hope to have it finished, um, like recording stuff like that. I mean, we'd like to release obviously a song sometime this summer on the Warp tour because you know I don't think a lot of these a lot of these fans of these shows are like newer, mm -hmm. you know, so they don't know that. This stuff is kind of old for us. Like we haven't released music as a band since what year, Brad? Like 2007, 2008. 2007. Yeah. yeah so, um, you know, some of these shows are, or some of these songs are, like you know, a good six years old for us, if not more. So um, it's really important to us to kind of rejuvenate it with some some fresh songs and new energy. And I think it's going to be the best yet because we've all grown up a lot. How's the current tour in general? Has it been everything you hoped it would be? Yeah, and more. It's like. Just run so smoothly, everything's well put together. Like not only all that technical stuff, but the kids have been unreal. Every night's been a really good night, and um, <laughs> we've got rodents. <laughs> um, but like we love touring the UK. It's it just it's kind of cruisy. Like the drives aren't hard. This has been a lot of fun, really. Like good vibes all around. So tomorrow we're going to another country. We'll go to Scotland. Yes, we are. Yeah. Yes, we are. Glasgow. Where they love the brown sauce. They love brown sauce yeah. in Glasgow. It's hard to understand people in Glasgow. Right. There's hot girls, but you can't really talk to them. <laughs> you know? Not, not like I'm too shy to talk to girls anyways most of the time unless I'm inebriated. So what? You need Babel Fish translator then. Yeah. For an American. Yeah, service. that would be good. Yeah. We'll, we'll see what we can do. So what's the plan for the rest of the evening? Uh, I've got a night off. Cheers. Enjoy the rest of the night. In Thank the you. So much. Thank uh, you. We'll catch up with you tomorrow in uh, Glasgow, and uh, I'll bring a bottle of brown sauce and nice. <laughs> let's get this party started. Uh, <laughs> okay. Well, enjoy the rest of the night. I will do. And uh, we'll see you later. How do you while away the hours on the two of us? You got any required viewing? Uh, reading. No. Yeah, I just mainly read. I've been reading uh, Sherlock Holmes actually. Right. Will you, will you be hitting Baker Street when you get to London? <laughs> Actually, I already did that. Right. Oh boy. Have you been in the, the museums and stuff? I haven't. No. Yeah. No, I haven't been there. Are you a wannabe sleuth? I'm not a wannabe sleuth. I, I just really love Arthur Conan Doyle's writings. Mm -hmm. Sir Arthur yep. Conan Doyle's writings. Yeah. He's a, he's a very good writer. Cool. Yeah. Do you have a personal Moriarty? No. No. Uh, <laughs> no I don't. What was? <laughs>